guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about Trello, which is the application that I use to do a lot of my task management and just to basically try and keep my life organized. So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to create a board that's basically for a workflow or a repeatable series of tasks sometimes they're called a pipeline and so I'm gonna show you how to set up a workflow a, a workflow board for what I call site development surveys so these are surveys typically of a single parcel maybe a couple parcels and they almost always require a boundary survey so you're gonna resolve the resolve the the uh, boundary of the parcel and then you're going to do a topographic survey to support some type of engineering design so those kinds of surveys are a lot of my work so I'm logged into Trello here to my account I have a, a team board here for my surveying um, organization that I work at and because I, I, I pay for the pro feature I get some uh, the pro version I get some extra features here on this team uh, but you don't need those to, to do what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to create a new board and I'm going to call it uh, Guide to Surveying. It's the name of my surveying company that I work for. I call it Guide to Surveying Site Development Project Management. Okay, it's a little long for a board name, but it's okay. And then I'm going to come in, change the background. Um, I was going with the green for this board. Okay, once you have your board created, the next step is to add a list for each major phase in the project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my first list here. And I'm going to say project kickoff. So I'm I'm going to start this particular workflow. The proposal's been done. Uh, the contract's been executed. We've got notice to proceed. So one of the very first things I want to do is have a project kickoff meeting with the members of my team that are going to be working on the project. Okay. Then usually the next thing we do is there's some research. Okay. And then after the research, usually before we can do very much, there needs to be a field survey. So I'm going to say prepare. This next step is prepare for field survey. And then we're going to have, we're going to execute the field survey. Then I have what I call uh, raw data management. So in this step of the workflow, I'm processing my raw data, doing any adjustment that's needed. Now at this point, my process typically will diverge into two paths. So I'll, I'll have uh, one surveyor working on the boundary part of the project typically and We'll have a survey tech that's working on the drafting. So I'm going to do the uh, the drafting things first. So we're going to uh, going to do topo mapping, and we'll have another guy doing the boundary mapping. Okay, then I'm going to say uh, one of the last things we're going to do is prepare deliverables, and then I'll probably add a QA. Well, we'll call it a. This is called final check. So we're going to do some final quality control. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to I'm going to have a project close out because I like to have a little slightly formal uh, project close out process. Okay. Now, if you don't like the exact order that these are in, you can drag and drop these lists if you want to do that. Okay, so it's easy to do that. If you want to change a name, you just click on the name, change the name. Okay. So now I've got this uh, basic workflow set up, moves from the left to the right, kind of in chronological order there, okay? And so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in and set up a template for the cards that represent each project. So uh, when this board is up and running, we'll have a card in here for each of the current projects and you'll drag that card across this from left to right as you move through the different um, stages of the project and, and there's some checklists. So I'm going to show you how the checklists work too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and end this video now and then uh, 
we'll do a, another video, quick, quick video, fairly short video that'll show you how I go in and set up the uh, the template card for the projects that are going to populate this board.